I broke up with my boyfriend because of how awful he acted towards me when he found out how I play Sims. The argument that led to this was so so stupid. I, 24 female, have two TVs set up in my living room. With my ADHD it's hard for me to focus on one thing so I usually play a game on one TV and have a show or movie playing on the other, and when my now ex-boyfriend, 26 male, who will call James joins me for gaming we each play on one of the TVs. Note, James doesn't live with me. I'm a big fan of The Sims and before anyone says anything in the comments, I know it's better on the PC but I don't have the money for a PC that would support any games let alone The Sims, so I play it on my PS4. Last night I was playing Sims 4 while James played Red Dead. Now if anyone here isn't a player of The Sims, you should know that most people play the game mostly to torment their Sims or give them the messiest lives possible. So I was playing as a Sim who has several baby daddies and multiple side pieces while trying to become famous and making enemies left and right. Honestly, pretty tame for most Sims players in my opinion. But James glances over at my TV and saw my Sim Elise romancing her latest conquest and says, isn't that a different guy than the one you were on a date with earlier? Not thinking anything of it I said yeah, Elise has like 20 boyfriends and 3 fiancés. Well, James. Lost. His. Crap. He started shouting at me almost immediately, asking me why I would be playing as someone ran through, ugh I hate that phrase, and unfaithful. I pointed out to him that it's just a game and I hadn't even been playing as a sim of myself, Elise doesn't even look anything like me. Though, I fully believe this argument would have been insane even if the sim looked exactly like me and had my name because, you know, it's not real. James said none of that mattered because only a whore would be playing a game where you can do anything you want and make their character a passed around He started calling me a cheater, insisting I must believe cheating isn't wrong if I play sims like this instead of making faithful characters. I told him that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard, because I'm terrible at de-escalating things clearly, and pointed out that making loyal, nice sims with good morals was boring because half the fun of the game is causing drama. Then I said it was ridiculous to assume I was doing any of the things I have my sims doing because 1. I don't like drama in real life and 2. I'm a homebody and don't like interacting with people too often, so when would I even be meeting all these people I'm cheating on him with? And 3. There is literally a man locked in Elisa's basement that spends all his time making paintings and selling them to fund her lifestyle, and if he's worried about me cheating because my sins do it, he should be checking my basement for captives. He said I was trying to distract him from my cheating and insisted on going through my phone. I told him there was no point, I wasn't going to keep dating a man who would call me a cheater and a whore because of a video game and broke up with him. He yelled and shouted about this proving his point, my refusal to let him go through my phone obviously meant I was cheating, the entire time I packed up everything he had laying around my apartment. I got all his shit together, handed him the bag, and told him to leave or I'd call the cops. I knew he would likely tell our mutual friend that we'd broken up because I cheated, but my mama raised a petty beach. So as soon as he left I sent a mass text to all our friends, my family, and his sister. I don't have his mom's number but his sister is a gossip so she'll tell her. I pasted the text below. Hey everyone, I just wanted to make you all aware that James and I are no longer together. James decided that me having a sim in The Sims 4 that had multiple boyfriends meant that I must be cheating on him. James used this misguided belief to justify screaming at me and calling me names I won't repeat here. I know you're all aware that I don't believe in tolerating any mistreatment in a relationship, so it shouldn't surprise any of you that I ended things. Feel free to reach out through text, but I'm understandably emotional right now so I might take a day or two to respond. I sent it before he made it home and got a chance to spin the story to fit his version and so far the only people who've reached out all think it's just as ridiculous as I do. I blocked James and so far no one has said anything about his reaction to this, but I'm sure he'll be pissed that our friends all seem to think he's insecure and acted like a child.